At 22, I joined the national team. At 22, that is. So at 22, that is 1971. 1973, I was 24. I won gold medal for my great country. At that 73, too. I want bronze medal for the whole of Africa as a continent. Am I not an accomplished somebody? So I'm an achiever in my own field as far as I'm concerned. That 73 all of the country. When when you were in camp, yeah, did you feel any pressure to win the gold medal? Did you think that the country meant that you have to win? You see, the, the, the problem we are having now is that uh, our players, because of the loss for money, they are no, no more dedicated. Mm. The question you ask, you know, at our time, in 73, mm. these are players that are ready to die for the country. Mm. We were all ready. Okay. Think of me, think of Emmanuel Okala in goal, think of Tony Gwe, the right foot back, think of Sylvester Berger, the left foot back, think of uh, Victor Odua. Now aged. All, all he has are now white. Think of a Dominic Ezian, who is now an aeronautic pilot in, in, in USA. Think of Gideon Joku. Think of Let Yakubu Mambo. Think of Sunday Oyarikwa, the let that striker we had us at that time. Think of Josie Dombraye in, in Port Harcourt. Think of me, Arno Lerica, the military midfielder. I can do anything with the ball. Let me tell you what the Sport Writers Association wrote about me in the, in the 70s. They, and I quote, Arnold Lerica, he will dribble you and you will admire the way he dribbles you. You that I dribble you, you will admire that somebody dribbles you. <laughs> so what are we talking about? <laughs> but did you feel any pressure that you have to win? Yes, because we placed Nigeria high. We defended the territorial integrity of this nation on the field of play. As if to say, our whole life depended on it. It is not for money. It is not for anything. You know, we just have the, you know, the gods that we must win. That nothing like winning. Okay, let me tell you. 18th January 1973 was the final day against Guinea. The, uh, the then head of state, Yakubu Gowan, called us to the damn barrack. Before the match. Before the match. Early in the morning. You could imagine that a, a whole head of state calling you, summoning you that it is gold or nothing. And that the sky is the limit of what it's going to do for you if you win the gold. We could not even sleep. We, nobody, none of us had siesta. We were as if, and to, 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 to top it all, he even announced to the whole nation that uh, all offices in the whole of the Federation should close by 1 p.m. to allow them to watch the television or go to the stadium. And he asked of what is going on at the stadium around 10 o'clock when we were still with him. I could remember very vividly Mr. Anima Shan was the stadium manager by that time. You know, a phony, a phony message came in. Telling the elders say that the stadium gate has already been closed since 10 a.m. Capacity crowd of that national stadium was meant for 45,000, you know, crowds, people. Eh? 100,000 plus watched second All Africa games. They sat up to the tank track, even to inside the field of play. So you can imagine the type of even when I came in. You know, because I was the last to come in in the national team. When I came in, George Penner was our coach from Brazil. When I came in, I came in last. When I saw how the crowds were, you know, were just swinging, as if to say it is uh, water from the beach. It's, it's like ocean. Yeah? I, I, I started shedding tears. But the coach summoned my college. Pat me at the back and say, ah, I don't know, you know, it's you that people have come to watch. You just have to play well. And that goal, the second goal that rock Guinea was from me. We beat Guinea two names through Sunday Oyarikwa. But it was a tailor to measure pass from I don't know Elerica. And sports writers will never forget that pass in their life. I want to ask you about Sunday Oyarikwa. Because 73, I was, I wasn't too many about football at the time. But we didn't report on that all African games. When you require the need to score, he scored five goals in the competition. How, how good a striker was he? Let me tell you something. Oyarikwa 
the best regard to him, he has now retired as assistant commissioner of police. Thank God Almighty for him. He is just the type of striker that I think people like me can play with. Oyarikwa is a finisher. Mm. Forget about uh, skill, uh, no skill. There's nothing like skill in Oyarikwa. But he knows where to place himself. Uh, he knows where I will give him the ball. He so understands me to the extent that when I'm coming with the ball with my left foot, you see this left foot has been carried by so many aircraft. I cannot name it Panam, Siberia, and Kong, Kong, overseas. But we thank God there was nothing like professional football in our time. If not, I could have become a trillionaire. And I, I could have even been deported from Europe that I've dribbled an average European to death. <laughs>